Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for Taz McCarthy, this time on using Photoshop and then Illustrator to digitize a logo or a sketch. So here we have what's obviously a scanned hand-drawn picture. It's not one that I did, I've taken it from Google Images, so credit to the original user for that. You can see that it's that's 100% now, it's only about 200 pixels wide, so when I zoom in it gets pixelated quite quickly. But we can use the tools built in to make this into something really nice. First thing we're going to do is clean up all of these lines here, all our working lines. We've got two options for that. Firstly, we could switch to some sort of white brush and manually paint them in, but that's quite time consuming. So when we're working with black and white, we can also come to image adjustments and curves. First thing we're going to do is pick the darkest spot and then click on the white one and pick the lightest spot and then after that we can change these sliders to throughout a lot of the other stuff so it's just black and white left over so if we click the preview on and off you can see what a difference that's made there okay that should be fine so compared to our starting image we can see that we've cleaned it up a fair bit at this stage we're ready to go to Illustrator. You could of course manually clean up any more lines which you weren't happy with, but for the purposes of this quick demonstration we're going to continue. So I'm going to select all and then I'm going to copy and then switch over to Illustrator where I've just set up a blank A4 document and I'm going to paste that in. From Illustrator CS5, and I imagine it's in CS6 as well, but we're working with CS5 here, we have a great option called Live Paint and Live Trace. So I'm going to select my picture, I'm going to come up to Object, Live Trace, Make and Convert to Live Paint. And that happens quite quickly. And now, compared to before when we zoomed in and we had pixelation, it has gone through and traced all of our paths and they're nice vector lines now. This is the equivalent of us using the pen tool to go around and manually trace around our scanned image until we got all the different shapes. So as you can imagine that would take a very long time to do something like this and an even more complicated logo would be even worse. A couple of problems with this. It's not that easy to edit. Firstly it's retained the white background here. So the first thing we're going to do is to click on it and we're going to going to go to Object Ungroup because it by default makes a group. Now that we've done that we should be able to select with the white tool which is a sub selection tool just our box and hit delete and that's gotten rid of that. So what we have here is a series of different solid shapes so it's counting the black piece as one background and then on top of that we have individual white small pieces don't have to do this but it's a good step to do earlier rather than later but you can come up to object live paint release and it's going to leave you with just these different things here show you how we can add some color I'm going to select everything and I'm going to set the fill to something like green and then I'm going to select just the outside one and select the fill to black but now that's in front of the others, I'm going to send it to the back and you can see that I've got my different shapes here. So just like a path that I draw myself, I can come and click on it and I can move the handles and edit it. I can do whatever I want like that. I might want different colors so I can pick the different bits and say I might want that one to be light and that one to be light and so forth. We should be able to do gradients on these as well. Select that first, come to our gradient tool, and now pick our gradient from over here, like so, and then use the different sliders and color tools there. The good thing about what we've done here is it's cleaned up the lines a lot, and compared to our original one, that's at 200%, and if we zoom anything much further, we get to pixels very quickly, it's not very usable. But on this one, we can zoom in as far as we want, and because it's digitized it and it's become a mathematical vector curve, it's just going to redraw it as many times as we need to. 
and it's always going to look perfect, never any pixelation. From here, because Illustrator is not really suitable for um, many formats, say internet or magazines, we need to do file, export, and then set it to something like a JPEG and set the quality settings as high as we can. And it'll export a really nice pixel image that's as big as we need.